Hi guys, it's me and Joe today. Hi friends, how's it going? Oh, I bet they're excited to see you. Well, everybody's always excited to see me. Well, I know Joe, I'm always excited to see you. How have you been? Oh, I've been real good. I've been washing my hands and I've been keeping myself clean. Well, that's good, Joe. That's super duper important that you do that. Because we want to, you know, stop all these icky, icky germs that are running around. Well, I know. I'm doing my part. Well, good for you, buddy. High five. Oh, I mean, air five. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, Miss Tracy. Air fives. So what else have you been up to? Oh, you know what I did today? What did you do? Well, at 10 o'clock, I watched your videos on experiments. What did you think? Oh, did, what was your favorite one? I, I know which one was my favorite one. Well, obviously, the ketchup exploding. I know, the ketchup exploded all over. It was crazy, Joe. So, like, the bottle, when I started to shake it, it kind of got warm. Oh, I know. And then, all of a sudden, it was, like, and squirting all over. Whoa, that's so cool. I asked my mom, and she said no, but that's okay. I got to watch it, and that's okay too, Joe. Like, but I'm really proud that you asked your mom. I got to ask her. Those are the rules. Well, I'm glad you're following the rules. Should we see what friends we got on? Let's see. I think, oh, there's those Larson kiddos again from Fargo. Hi, Larson kids. Good to see you. And I think I heard Lance is joining us. Hi, Lance. Good to see you, too. Well, I'm so happy that everyone's on. We just got a message that maybe our internet's going to go down. Oh, no. I know. Um, So I'm going to get started right away on our books. Let me guess. They're your favorites. Yeah, they kind of are. They're really good. Oh, Miss Tracy, they all are your favorites. I know. I just can't help it. I just love them all. I know. I know. Silly willy. But I've got two really good ones for you today. One I think is fun, and I think some of you kiddos out there can really relate with. Sloppy Joe. I just love the look of Sloppy Joe. Look at what he has. Oh my gosh. His shoes are untied. He's all dirty. He's holding slimy frogs. Oh my goodness. This is just such a cute book and cute illustrations. The ones, the pictures. And this book here is by Dave Kane and illustrated by Denise Brooks. I just think it's super cute. Mom says, I'm the first kid in history to take a school picture with gum stuck in my hair. Can you guys see a school picture? Oh. My room looks a little bit messy, but I know exactly where everything is. Everything uh, except my bearded dragon, a few of his crickets, and a grilled cheese sandwich I lost last summer. I've always been good at being sloppy. I slurp, slip, slouch, talk with my mouthful, and put my elbows on the table without even trying. Dad says I'm a natural. So do Grammy and Big Grandpa. They spread newspaper all around me when, it, when we eat dinner at their house. How did they know the meatball could roll that far? But I'm not just good at being sloppy. I can catch more frogs than any kid on my street. Just ask my mom. Look at mom. What's in the drawer? I know how to help my dad in the yard. And I'm really good at baseball because I practice, practice, practice. But sometimes I wish I wasn't so sloppy. Like when my friend's mom doesn't let me come in the house. She's right here. I'll set me out, she says. But I wipe my feet. What kind of pet does the son have? A hot dog. Hey, Mom, what did the taco say to the burrito? Where have you been? <laughs> when being sloppy gets me in really big trouble, I just try out my newest jokes. 
sometimes even my best jokes don't work. So I decide something has to change. That's when I make up my mind to not be sloppy anymore. So tomorrow, I'll be neat Joe. Do you think he can do it? The next day, I give the dog a shower. I clean my room. I find that lost grilled cheese sandwich. It's so hard, I almost broke my tooth. I don't think you should eat it. I set the table for dinner. I, I even find one of my lost crickets. This being neat stuff isn't as hard as I thought it would be, but nobody cares about my neatness because everyone in my family has the flu. I tell them not to panic. This is a job for neat Joe. So I bring cold socks for their forehead. I cover everything with germ spray. I even make soup. I try to cheer them up, but my jokes only make them groan louder. Hey guys, what kind of dog wins every contest? A wiener dog. <laughs> Get it? Wiener, wiener dog. What's wrong with you people? By the time Grammy gets here, I have everything under control. So what do you think of the new neat Joe, I asked my family. He reminds me of the old sloppy Joe, Dad says, and he's a very special kid, Mom says. I just love that because he was trying to be somebody a little bit different, right? But he didn't need to be. He just needed to be himself. He just needed to be good old sloppy Joe. Everyone loves him just all the same, right? Let's see. Oh, hey, warm and girls. How's it going? Miss Vossen, do you have Bo with you today? If so, tell him hi. Hi, Miss Lesmeister. Good to see you. Let's see. I've got one other one here, kids. Miss Bev, what do we got here to get my daily fix? I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting us on all of this craziness. Miss Haley Vignus, are you maybe at daycare? I mean, maybe you're watching at home, which I would love. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, hi, Gunderson kiddos. Good to see you too. I have one more. I'm not sure for those of you that just jumped on, um, NCC might be doing a little fiber optic work. So we're going to kind of bust through really fast today. Um, you know, if that's at all possible for me to do, you know, I kind of have started to like to hear myself talk. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, so I'm going to go through this last book and it is called Can I Keep It? And look what's on the cover. How many of you like frogs? I kind of think they're a little too slimy for me. Like you, you pick up this little thing and it's like slimy and cold and Mmm, I just don't think I like it. Mm -mm. Kind of makes me, and then all oh, that slimes in your hand, and it's like, got me. I don't know, they're dirty, and oh, I don't know. I don't, ooh, I don't know. But I bet there's some of you out there that really, really like those little silly frogs. All right. Hi, Shelly. Yes, everyone is doing good here in D.C., and we're keeping safe, healthy, and we're being kind. So we got that all covered. We're good. Here we go. Can I keep it? by Lisa Job. The Wump. Mom, if a squirrel follows me home, can I keep it? A squirrel? Squirrels like to climb trees and gather acorns. If you were a squirrel, where would you want to live? Do you want to live here? Look what he's doing. I'm going to move you a little closer so you can see a little better. Shlop! Mom, if a frog follows me home, can I keep it? A frog. Frogs like to leap high and splash in the water. If you were a frog, where would you want to live? What's he going to get now? Clank! Ooh. Mom, if a bird follows me home, can I keep it? 
a bird? Birds like to build nests and fly high in the sky. If you were a bird, where would you want to live? There goes the birdie. Cat! Uh oh. What did the cat catch? Now, I don't like frogs, but I'll tell you one thing. I really, really, really don't like mice. <laughs> if I were a stray cat with a crooked tail, where would I want to live? Here, with a boy like Kind of a girl. The end. So some animals it's probably okay to bring home, right? But some probably not. That would be kind of silly. Um, a couple things, kiddos. I posted a really fun video down below if you want to check out that experiment for the day. It involves some baking soda and some vinegar and stuff going all over. It's pretty fun. Also today I worked on, for any parents that might be listening, some book kits that involve um, books, seven books and some have three movies, some have less um, to kind of go with them. Some will have coloring pages and a few things like that that I can throw in the bag for you for just something extra to do. Everything's on a three-week loan. Uh, pretty easy. Just message me and um, see the pictures below and you can see which ones we have. And message me the name and the number and we'll have them all ready to go, go for you. All you'll need to do is just let me know what time you plan on picking them up. Give the door a little knock on the outside and we'll have it ready to go. So it'll be just quick and easy pickup. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, again, feel free to message me at any time. I'm always available. I hope everyone had an awesome day at school. I hope it went very, very good for you the second day in the row. Um, I think I think it went really good. Harper, she kicked me out. She doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but it went good. So I hope everybody else had a really awesome time as well. And what do we always say? Be healthy. Be safe. Be kind. See you guys tomorrow.